Hey guys, here's one of my favorite fans I ever found from a Habitat Restore, a Casablanca Delta II in brass. I think a, it would be a 50 inch fan if I'm not mistaken. I'm a little rough with Casablanca sizing. This is the 806th fan made on June 19th of 1987, if you're interested. The other side here, there's your tag. So uh, let's get this beast fired up. As you can see, I replaced the Codep with this fan. I wanted to have another Casa hanging on my display and I decided this one would look great here. So the fan itself is almost perfect. The uh, finish is great. The blades are almost unscratched. Almost. There's a couple dings in them. But the bearings are nearly shot. They make some pretty nasty noises on high. I don't have the skill to uh, replace those, unfortunately. So it's just going to have to be that way. As you can see, I have a recall clip hanging in right now just because I don't trust the... I don't trust the... Uh, oh, what is it? The... Hang true canopy there. All right, here's medium. I apologize, I'm still a little sick. My voice is still a little shot. The weather was nice today, so I thought I would come out here and film a fan while it was warm enough. I originally had this fan in my bedroom because it fit in my room, but I couldn't use it on high because it suffered from airlock. So I realized I couldn't keep it in there because it was too powerful a fan and my room is far too small. So after sitting out here for a month or so, I decided to hang it. And so here it will stay for quite a while probably because I mentioned before I hate hang true canopies. They are such a pain in the butt to mount. Right, and here's high. Obviously, this thing throws a strong breeze. <laughs> it's not quite as good as the Hunter 2nd Century, but it's definitely among the best fans in the garage. I let the fan run, and it seems like that bearing noise, most of the bearing noises went away, which is good, so I think it just needed to run is all. There's still the scrape, but you can hear it, though. But for the most part, I'm okay with that. <laughs> and here's spin down. I'm trying to remember if I've seen a Delta when I was a kid. I think I had an aunt and uncle in a house they used to own. They had a pair of Casablancas on a high ceiling. I don't think they were Deltas, though. I want to say they were Panamas. If I've seen a Delta in person, I would have forgotten about it. What's cool is I have a Delta to go with the Lady Delta. Yeah, once I start feeling better, I can start working on my display again. It is winter time though, so. I do have a heater out here. I just need to buy some kerosene because it's an old fashioned kerosene heater. So for now, I haven't done much with almost anything to my display. Off the top of my head, there are three ceiling fans that will be replaced, so yeah. You can expect to see something soon, but not for at least another month before I do anything with the fan display. And that's assuming I have the time to work on it. Yeah, despite the bearings, this has a really good spin down.
Yeah, so like I said, I got this at my restore. I was with Weed Fire at the time. He picked out the uh, Design House beautiful, or beautiful home. I forget the name. I think it's Design House. No, not Design House. Oh, I can't remember the brand. He picked out a Lasco-looking fan, which was pretty cool. And as he took it away, I happened to look up, and in the display, I found this. He was kicking himself over it. So yeah, this thing is pretty sweet. <laughs> and now I have a Delta to my name. All right, and here's zero to high. Ooh, you can really hear those bearings. Oh, and uh, there you have it, the Casablanca Delta II. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.